of the self News of the self We are the voices of the nation We are the voices of the people We are the voices of the world Arena. I've got here with me Amelia Ryan Ekinasio. She's the New Zealand captain and I've got the New Zealand coach Nolene Taurua. They are all ready for the Nations Netball Cup. I'll start over with you uh, Nolene. Mm. You are the current champions. You are the cream. How much pressure do you have? Um, raised expectation I must say not only uh, within our country but also amongst the players as well. Um, I think pressure is a given really, knowing that you're an elite athlete anyway or an elite team representing your country. But um, on the offset to that is, um, you know, everybody is in a four year cycle and knowing that there's starting to be new blood. Um, it's quite exciting times and uh, just really can't wait to get out there on court tomorrow against England knowing that there might be a wee bit of a um, edge out there because the last time that we played them was, um, you know, going for the gold medal final. So I'm um, really excited. Okay, uh, Amelia Rand, you are the captain. How much pressure do you have in terms of keeping the team together, keeping everyone motivated? If you are losing, you need to encourage your players, your team to keep going. How much pressure do you have? I wouldn't uh, say exactly a huge amount of pressure because we've done a lot of work as a massive squad um, to make sure that we are a really tight-knit team and behind the scenes we absolutely love each other's company and we do so much together to make sure that we, we're a tight-knit team so uh, we don't let any, any single job fall down to one person, we all carry the load um, in every single thing that we do so I think that that's really nice and, and I'll just be leading, leading the charge in that one as well but knowing that I've got um, all all of the other girls really, really closely behind me. So I don't feel so much an um, amount of pressure, just a massive sense of pride in that respect. Okay, thank you for that. England and South Africa and Jamaica, I believe, have been preparing so hard. I'm sure you've been following their games. Who do you think is a threat to you at the moment? To be honest, I think um, all the games are going to be really interesting for us and um, they're all going to be really hard. We're not taking a single game for granted. Um, I think if anyone's a threat, it's just what we do to ourselves and, and knowing that we've done the right preparation and, and um, it'll just be us backing ourselves going into all the games. But I have um, no doubt that every single game is going to be a really tough one and it's going to be exciting to watch because every single every single country here is, um, is here to do their absolute best and, and like Nolene spoke about before, it's the start of a new cycle. We've got new blood which we're super excited about and we, um, we back every single person in our team as much as I'm sure every single other team does. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, Nolene, um, in terms of uh, this competition, what have you changed from the last uh, games, the World Cup? Yeah, we haven't actually changed um, much at all. The uh, philosophy is always um, how can we be better. We pretty much have a good base in every campaign. It's just, you know, looking for that 1% incremental improvement. So a lot of players that we do have, even though it's sort of like they're actually in the team, they've been involved in the squad for a couple of years and they sort of know what the strategy is. I suppose um, because they're now out there and part of the team, then it's just our ability to be able to execute and perform. Um, and that will, obviously that's a question mark at this time of year. But, um, you know, we're, we do work with the levels underneath and, and that's probably one of the things that we work hard in is in regards to succession planning and just keep building on what we already know. So it's pretty much business as usual for us um, and just the opportunities now for all of our players to get out on court and play. Okay, you are the host for the World Cup 2023. How much preparation have you done so far and have you started or you're about to start? 2020, no, I think South Africa. South Africa, sorry, yes, yeah, South Africa. Yeah. How much uh, preparation have you put oh. into the next World Cup? Oh, um, at the moment we do understand the four year cycle and knowing long term everything that we do now is going to make an impact for four years down the track. 
but also the thinking is just keep your knitting down for one year, focus on every year. Um, and, you know, if we do the job right and make sure that we can keep building our foundation and improving, then by the time we get down four years in South Africa, we should have improved a huge amount. So um, definitely we do have a long term, but also the focus of yearly uh, incremental improvements. Okay, Amelian, um, what are you promising the fans who will be watching you tomorrow? Well, I think what we um, what we really want to send a message back home is that um, New Zealand can be proud of how we carry ourselves, um, not only just how we perform, but how we carry ourselves on and off court, um, which I think will be really really important for us, and that's um, that's something that's really important to us as New Zealanders. Okay, thank you so much, New You're Zealand. Welcome. All the best thank from you. South. Thank, thank you. Thank you. of the sound.